Good morning, world. I hope everybody is wonderful at your end. Today, I'm going to take you to your town. Your town is one of the parts of the historic triangle of America, or known also known as the Tri Historical Site of Colonial Virginia. It's Jamestown, Yorktown, and Williamsburg. Today we're talking about Yorktown. Named after Yorkshire in Northern England, it is located along the banks of the York River in Northeastern Virginia. It is the site of the siege and the surrender of the English the Americans led by um, General George Washington, the father of our nation and our first president of the United States during the Revolutionary War or known to be the American Revolution War, also known as the Battle of Yorktown. That battle was very bloody and that was occurred in 1781. That, that revolutionary war was officially ended after the Treaty of Paris, which was signed on September 1783. We all know that the Civil War 80% of the Civil War occurred happened in the state of Virginia. And Yorktown have a significant role because it serves as a major port of supply for both the Northern and the Southern Army. Fun facts about Yorktown. The Revolutionary War actually have it's about Spanish against French in south southern part of the United States, Florida, uh, Carolina, Texas, and uh, all the side of the part, southern part of the United States. And then on the eastern part of the United States, it's British against America. And the fun facts about your town is that British tried to surrender to the French. But the French made the British surrender to the Americans. This battle between French, Americans, and English, nearly one third of the soldiers are German. What happened is that um, Duke Christian IV of Germany gave his able-bodied men to pay off his debt to uh, French King Louis XV. So King Louis XV sent the soldiers, able-bodied German, to fight for uh, with the French army in the southern part of the United States. But when the British conquered Savannah, Georgia, and Charleston, South Carolina. So they acquired all these French soldiers and the German soldiers fighting along with the French. And so they moved eastward, northeastward, to continue fighting with the Americans. But Americans won, British fell, and that's what happens during the Revolutionary War, and that's the birth of the United States. Also, 100, almost 100 years after the Revolutionary War is the Civil War. Before COVID, they provide a trolley to go around the sites in your town of the bloody encounter. But we were there during COVID, so they canceled the they canceled the trolley with the tour guide and 
the uh, park rangers just give up a map and they just told us to stroll around follow the map and people other guests follow social distancing because whenever you stop in the side take pictures read the information cars are lining behind you they didn't go uh, close to you and get off from their car so people are really really cautious during this pandemic record yeah look at that look at this it's the york river we're heading towards yorktown at the battlefield in yorktown another history here in virginia you can see they still have colors here because it's warmer here in Virginia than in um, Indiana. It's too bad you can't see the river. All these trees covered the view of the river. General Comte Baptiste, General George Washington, General Marquet de Lafayette, and Admiral Comte Francois de Grassi. So these are the map. Um, the Washington Rochambeau route to victory. In August 14, 1781, Generals Washington and Rochambeau received news that a large French fleet under the command of Admiral de Grassi was headed for the Chesapeake Bay carrying 3,000 French soldiers. There, the British General Lord Cornwallis was in camp with his army at Yorktown, Virginia, where I am right now. This is your town. The two Allied leaders promptly decided to lead their army southward for 450 miles to engage Cornwallis at the siege, which proved to be a pinnacle engagement of the Revolutionary War. Their route started at White Plains, New York and included a crossing of the Hudson River to Stony Point, New York. Stops were made at both Princeton and Philadelphia. At Chester, Pennsylvania on September 5, Washington learned that Degrassi had reached Virginia and had landed the troops at Jamestown under the command of General St. Simon. Wow. Anyway, the Americans or the Allied forces won, and this is the encampment. Let me see what's this other sign here. 
very beautiful and it's cold. Very cold here in Yorktown, down in Jamestown and in uh, Norfolk. The French Trench. The extreme left of American and French lines commanded by Marquis de Saint-Simon was held by a French artillery battlefield. Wow. American Revolution Museum at Yorktown. Because of COVID, it's closed, so we can't go in there. So, we just drive around here. Can't park because it's closed. I would take a picture by the sign. Tributaries. This is the York River in here in Yorktown. Hi! U.S. government property, no trespassing. The Indian Field Creek. This creek goes flows down to the York River. The Indian Field Creek, the ground to the south along this creek, was the home of the Chiskak Indians, a small tribe whose leader was a Werowans or petty chief under Powhatan. As the English began to settle this area about 1630, the The surrender of your town near this spot on the afternoon of October 19, 1781, a silence prevailed among the Allied soldiers and onlookers. All eyes were trained on the approaching British troops. Cornwallis, sending word that he was ill, appointed his second in command, Brigadier General Charles O'Hara, to surrender his sword. O'Hara mistakenly approached French General. Rochambeau to present the sword. He was quickly corrected and led to Washington, the supreme commander of the Allied forces. Washington refused to take the blade from O'Hara's good hand and referred him to Major General Benjamin Lincoln, his second in command. Lincoln, accepting it, escorted O'Hara to an open field about one and a half miles from here where the British and German soldiers regiment after regiment grounded their arms. So, this is the French, led by Romban Rochambeau. This is the British, O'Hara. This is Lincoln, this is Washington, and these are the Americans, French and American. So, this is the history of the surrender of Georgetown 
on this spot here. We are in your town. Here, just west of your town, the British built an earthwork to control the road to Williamsburg. This fortification was manned by the Royal Welsh Fusiliers throughout the siege. The path lead to the reconstructed redoubt. Fusiliers redoubt. The piers, the piers extending into the York River just to the right serve a major navy installation since its establishment in 1918 then as a mine depot. It has served our country in two world wars and the Korean conflict as well as in the peace time. So this is the Naval Wave Pond Stations. Born in 